All right, guys, I wanted to take a quick video on the cherries. Um, so it's early June uh, 2021, and the cherries are, well, we got a pretty good crop. But the rot has already found the cherries. Not here right now because I've been picking off stuff, but you see the mummies? No good. Um, I've been picking off a lot of the stuff that's rotten, and of course, the birds have gotten the things too. Uh, but I wanted to show everybody what I did. I've got the scaffold up, and I added one this year. So I've got bump, 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 bump. And I added the one on the end here. It's just an upright with a T on this, but over here you've got more of a bow shape. And you really don't want to span more than two trees. So I've got the next bow there, the next bow there, and then one on the end. So I wanted to show how I do this, and I can't actually show what I'm doing, but I can show you how this is done. So I call this the salami. So this is the net. It's tied. It's 100 feet long. Um, I think it's 30 feet wide, which actually is really not, like 35 feet would be better, but whatever, or 40 feet. Um, but it's tied up every six feet or so all the way down. And I store it in a box, which is in a wheelbarrow. And then you just bring it out every year. And then what you do is you untie it, but you keep it as a salami. And you put the salami up on the, the, uh, the upright. Once it's on there, then, then you can actually start, start spreading it out. And once it's spread, a uh, whole lot easier to work with. Or once it's up there and then you spread it, it's a whole lot easier to work with than trying to spread it up and over. It just, that never worked. We've done this a zillion different ways, and this actually seems to be pretty good. So me and uh, whoever else, my neighbor usually helps. But um, it usually works pretty good even with just two people. As long as you get the whole whole thing up as, as a, a unit, up on the upright, dead, you want it dead center on the upright as kind of a string that goes down and then uh, yeah and then basically you then you actually unfold it kind of and work it all the way down uh, it, it's much easier and then you probably have to tack it to the ground every little bit so I actually just make you know wood stakes with little I, I take a, a jigsaw and put a hook in them and just put it right on the hook and then at the end of the season you undo it from the hook and you drive the wood stake right into the ground and it disappears. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Um, I would get a lot of cherries this year except for the rot. So I, I think um, really kind of a shame. Let's see here. There's one. Uh, I, I spent a lot of time earlier today actually pulling the rot off of here. So I don't see too, too much on it right now. Yeah, here. I'm pull this off. There's that's brown. See that? And squishy. And that'll just mummify and then spread all the spores everywhere. Junk. I don't want that. So, and here's here's an advanced one. And it, 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 they're not even ripening. I mean, they, it's getting them before they ripen. So, really not good. And I'm spraying, this year I'm trying, I was trying copper fungicide, or it's just organic fungicide, so you can just go and eat these. Um, supposedly. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, is that beautiful or what? Look at that. Not ripe, but I'm going to pick it anyway. Hmm. Still plays plenty good, though. Even though it's not ripe. Uh, variety. So this is called Vandalay. And then we have uh, Nugent, or it was, used to be New York 518. Another Vandalay, another Nugent, and then a Rainier. Uh, a couple of Tyrannovies and a Lapins down at the end. So far, so far, if you look real close at these trees, 
Um, the Vandalay tends to be a much more robust looking tree. Um, the Rainiers look pretty good, but the Nugents are kind of wimpy looking. They're a little bit, see, look at the, the rod here, I'm going to pull the rod off. Pulling rod off as I'm talking. So the Nugent tends to look a little bit on the weepy side and it tends to lose some pieces. Um, it did not set well this year. It's got a few few fruits on it, but it's not. Um, there were a lot of flowers, but it just didn't set well. And kind of weepy looking. Not not super robust. Not like these leaves. Look at this. So Vandalay looks. It just looks more robust. Look at these clusters. Look at this. Look at that. Get rid of that. No 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 no. If anybody has any better ideas, I've been doing some reading on it and can't really come up with much of anything. There's not a whole lot of organic you can use on this. Um, the non-organic fungicides are, you know, potentially an issue, so uh, I don't know what to do. So hopefully the heat, we're going to have some heat in the next couple of days, so hopefully the heat will keep the fungus down and uh, that'll help some of these ripen up so that we'll get something for a crop anywho uh so yeah so oh yeah so the vandalay set really well this year um as it did last year the nugent has been, has not been setting as well uh you know a little bit of a late cold and it just doesn't quite work rain ears are definitely my favorite there's no question about that absolutely no question in my mind and these are the rain ears set pretty nice um not perfect, as you can see. Better, but a hole in it. So, the Rainiers are not perfect, but they're definitely... It's, it's a reasonably nice tree. It's a reasonably robust tree. Um, not quite as robust looking as the Vandalay. But, still a very nice tree. So, and then the Craig's Crimsons are funky. I'll tell you what, the Craig's Crimsons... Um, not a bad tasting cherry, but I've not had great luck with the trees. They don't tend to do well here. Again, a little bit weepy looking. Not as peaked looking as, look at, look at the rot. Look at that. Could have gotten something. Rot's going to leave me nothing. You know, I don't have to have a full tree. I just like to, you know, have a taste. It'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? Look in here. Jeez. Poor mummies. Get rid of them. Poor mummies. So, yep, yeah, haven't had good luck with the Craig's Crimson, but you know. Why, you know, we're, we're trying things, you know, we got a bunch of different varieties. Um, this one's actually growing this year. Got some aphids going, but the, um, this one's actually doing some growing this year. In years past, it just halfway through the season, it just up and like nearly dies. I don't know why. Tarana V. The set better this year. Not a, not a particularly robust looking tree, but then again, it's under some shade here. And uh, so it's not going to do great. But whatever. So, again, here's the perspective from this side. Here's your salami all the way down. And I'll get my neighbor. We'll get it up on the uprights. Fold it over. And uh, then we'll have, what, six or seven trees here under a net. So, this is what work, what's worked for me. I get an upright. Stake it down. Double stake it if you got to. That way this is not going to move. So, anyway, hope you guys like it. We'll give you an update on everything else soon. Um, busy, busy here. Lots to do on the house. Hope everybody's well. You guys take care. Bye.